The loon's opening hole is a moderate length forepar with a gentle turn to the right. Driver isn't necessary off the tee, with positioning being more important than length. A drive too far to the right will descend into a ravine and the approach to the green becomes much more difficult. So keep it in the fairway and you'll have a short iron to the green and a fantastic chance at an opening birdie. Number two is a gorgeous par three and is the loon's signature hole. It requires a mid to long iron tee shot that should favor the right side as the green feeds to the left. Be precise. Anything to the left side will not be in play for long. The long, narrow green provides several hole locations, so be sure to check your yardage carefully. The third hole is a dream for players who enjoy letting it rip. This fun par 5 turns gently to the left and features a pond that crosses the fairway at a distance that normally impacts second shots. So go ahead and hit driver. And then you'll be left with a bit of a decision. Go for the elevated green or lay up for a wedge in third shot. The green's primary defenses are the undulations, so be sure you get your approach on the proper tier for the best chance at a birdie or an eagle. Number four at the Loon is an uphill three par to a large green surrounded by bunkers. Whatever distance you choose, be sure to add a club and hit it full. This hole always plays longer than it looks. Be careful, however, not to go long. The back side of the green has very little room for recovery. Consider par a very solid score here on number four. The fifth hole is a par five with great adventure and many options. The huge tree in the center of the screen is the ideal aiming point Moderate length hitters should go to the left of the tree. Bombers can choose the right, but don't miss right or your ball will feed into the hazard. Once a solid tee shot has been placed, the next shot, whether you're going for the green or laying up, must be aimed to the left side of the fairway or green. Everything on this hole runs hard to the right, so plan accordingly for your best chance at a birdie or a par. Number six gives you a chance to shape your tee shot from right to left. This four par is wonderfully framed by pines, but you don't want to be punching out from the trees, so be accurate off the tee. Your second shot after you get around the corner must avoid bunkers guarding the front and left side of a two-tiered green, and it must be on the correct side of the ridge in order to give you the best chance at a one putt. Number six provides all sorts of wonderful challenge. Accuracy is at a premium. The Loon's seventh hole is a lengthy par four with a fairway that narrows in the primary landing zone for your tee shot. Be sure to stay left and avoid the slope on the right side. That slope kicks shots down into the woods and out of play. The tee shot on seven is only part of the challenge, however. The approach to the green must also contend with protective bunkering and a very treacherous right side where once again shots will carry them hard to the right. Be accurate with your approach and if you can make a four on number seven, take it and run.
Number eight at the Loon has no hidden surprises. This scorable par five takes players straight down a beautifully tree-lined fairway and provides longer hitters with the option of getting home in two. Often playing into the breeze, number eight also rewards those who choose to lay up. Be careful to avoid the bunkers on each side of the green and your chances at birdie increase considerably. The green slopes dramatically from left to right, so be sure and keep that in mind as you gauge the speed of your putt and the placement of your approach. Closing out the front nine is a par three with some teeth. Playing up to 209 yards, the tee shot must carry a ravine in front while avoiding danger on the right. Even though the shot is slightly downhill, you don't want to club down for this one. Play it as the yardage indicates. This large green slopes considerably from back to front, so any putt under the hole will be uphill. Par is an excellent score on this close to the front nine. Launching the back nine at the Loon, the interesting 10th hole provides plenty of challenge, beauty, and attack options. Ideally, a tee shot favoring the left side will provide a second shot free from concerns about the pond guarding the green. Some may attempt to cut the corner on the tee shot by taking it over those trees on the right, but beware of this approach as there are white OB stakes along the right. Your second shot to the large green must avoid the pond and also find the correct part of the large green. That's your best strategy for scoring a three or a four to start the back nine. Number 11 is the Loon's longest hole. Nearly 600 yards from the tips, this five par requires wisdom and strategy as you determine angles and layup distances. The approach to the elevated green provides more challenges than just getting the correct distance. The green has numerous sections for hole locations and each is defended by a ridge line that can act as a backstop for the approach and also a defense against easy birdie putts. Double check your read and good luck making a four on 11. Number 12 at the Loon is a slightly downhill three par to a wide two-tiered green. This green is often partially shadowed, making the reading of your birdie putt more challenging. Sandwiched between two par fives, number 12 gives players a bit of a breather as you prepare to head down the home stretch at the Loon. The 13th hole at the Loon is a beautiful par five, traveling through a tight, tree-lined fairway tunnel. It's easier said than done, but keep it in the short grass here, or you'll be forced to navigate through some northern Michigan forestry. The green is slightly elevated and heavily guarded by bunkers both left and right. Stay below the hole and your chances at birdie will increase considerably. Number 14 at the Loon was renovated by Butch Harmon, turning a formerly par 4 into a par 3 with some teeth. Playing at or over 200 yards, this hole features a water hazard on the left side that isn't readily visible from the tee. Avoid that and stay dry, but keep an eye out on the right side as well. A large green side bunker will grab shots hit to that side. The green runs quickly from back to front, so staying under the hole is the best strategy for making par on this challenging hole from Butch. The 15th hole is a the 15th hole is a four par, gently sweeping to the right, wrapping around a pond that has become the home of more than a few wayward shots. For the best results, a tee shot favoring the left side will provide the best angle of approach. There are out of bounds markers on the left, however, so don't get carried away with the drive or you'll be in trouble. This may be the smallest green on the entire course, so be sure of your distance and aim for the center. 
flag hunting is not a good idea unless you're having one of those can't miss days. A four on number 15 is an excellent score. The home stretch begins with the par 4 16, a dogleg right where a well-placed tee shot can do wonders for your confidence and really bring birdie into the realm of possibility. To score well, you'll need to steer clear of the four greenside bunkers guarding the putting surface. And you'll also need to avoid going long because the back of the green feeds quickly into a lake. You can take advantage of number 16, getting a 3 or 4 on the card, and build momentum for a strong finish. Number 17 is a strong risk reward hole. From the tips, it measures 241 yards slightly uphill. The green is open and accessible to a tee shot at the center, but deep bunkers await shots to the left and the right. Those who choose to drive the green will need to keep it straight, avoiding the wooded area on the right as well, and there's heavy rough on the left. There is an excellent chance of birdie here on number 17. The closing hole at the Loon is a gorgeous four-par that wraps around a sizable pond. Longer hitters must aim for the right side where the fairway extends around the water. You can reach the water off the tee, so driver may not be the right club choice for everyone. Once the tee shot has safely landed, the largest green on the course awaits your approach. There are three primary tiers on the green, and finding the correct section is vital for your shot at birdie or par. This great finishing hole sits beneath the clubhouse where on many days a gallery will be watching all of the drama unfold. <laughs>